Now, finally, in part C, we're asked to find the deceleration of the car over this interval between 10 and 18 seconds. So what I'm going to do first of all is just update the diagram. Remember in part B we found that V was 11. So I'm going to delete that and write that back in now as 11 meters per second. So, in order to find the deceleration, first of all I'm going to find the acceleration over that interval. So, acceleration is equal to the change in velocity, so that would be V minus U divided by the time taken. So, the final velocity over this interval was clearly 11. So we've got 11 minus the initial velocity which was up here at 25 and divided by the time, the time it took to change that from one speed to another was clearly 8 seconds. So if you work this out, 11 take away 25 is minus 14 and minus 14 divided by 8 comes to minus 1.75 and that would be meters per second per second. Okay. Don't leave it here though because it did ask for the deceleration so therefore the deceleration just write that in okay, is basically given by just the 1.75 strip off the minus. Okay. So the deceleration is 1.75 meters per second per second. And that brings us now to the end of part C and to the end of this question.